Greetings, I'm Kevin Kuchenbecker, the Historic Preservation Officer for the City of Deadwood, and we're here for another moment in Deadwood's history. Actually, we're here at St. Ambrose Cemetery, which has a fascinating history. Last week, we talked about Mount Moriah, at which it was found in 1878. The first burial at this cemetery was also 1878, but is not as famous as Mount Moriah or Deadwood's Boot Hill. Uh, if you look back at the history, obviously uh, the pioneers came into Deadwood Gulch, the, the, the gold seekers, in 1876. And by 1877, we had the first Catholic priests conducting a service on Sherman Street in a carpenter shop uh, here in Deadwood. About 1878, the first burial in St. Ambrose Cemetery was created and consecrated in 1881. It was in the hands of the Catholic Diocese for 125 years, up until about 2003, where it got to a point where it was in a, a state of disrepair, unfortunately, and uh, they deeded it over to the city of Deadwood. Through the Historic Preservation Commission, we put together a master plan, uh, surveyed the entire cemetery, and over six phases in about five years, and about three million dollars, we have restored this cemetery back to its original glory. That included rebuilding some of the plots, the retaining walls, and the bees are still out here. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. The fencing, uh, you can see here in the Ruman plot, uh, original fencing was taken down, uh, repaired, powder, powder coated, and put back in. The monuments have been cl cleaned, including the angel back here. I'm sitting at the Ruman plot. This is Oscar uh, Ruman, yes, uh, who was three years old when he passed away. He's buried here with his mom, and the angel was put up here for his death. Uh, there are a lot of children who died in the camps, uh, and that's a sad part of our history, as well as all the other um, lost uh, souls. But as we look at historic preservation, not only have we restored the cemetery, but we've got a genealogical database of information at the archives where we have probably close to 100,000 surnames that can be um, with our finding aid. That be uh, likes me. I'm as sweet as the angel, I guess. Um, but in all seriousness, come to the Historic Preservation Office for information on genealogical research. We also have the wonderful collection that's under the care of Deadwood History with photographs. The Centennial um, Collection at the library has photographs. And so we're able to piece our history together and tell the stories of these individuals through uh, digitized newspapers, uh, record books that we have in the archives, photos and, and artifacts that we have in the museums, and we're proud of that history and we're continuing to develop that to put our story together and this is just one part of the story is is our cemeteries and while we don't have wild bill hickok and calamity jane buried in this cemetery we do have people like mike russell who is personal friends and financer of buffalo bill cody and his Wild West show that made the Deadwood stage famous, which we have at the Days of 76 Museum. So you can see all this, how this all weaves together and, and helps tell our story. And I encourage you to come here. It's tranquil, it's peaceful, it's beautiful up here at St. Ambrose Cemetery. It's in the Highland Park edition, uh, just above Elizabethtown, which most people won't know. It's one of the mining camps. It's off Burnham Street, and you can take uh, Pleasant Street to the front gate. I'm up here by the Pearl Street exit, uh, entrance, excuse me, and we're proud of our history, we're proud of our projects, and this is just another fine example. Hopefully you've enjoyed a moment in Deadwood's history, and that's a wrap.